How's it going, Raider Nation? It's JT coming at you with another episode of the Raider Cast, your podcast for everything silver and black. Today is going to be a very important discussion about the possibility of Aaron Rodgers coming to Las Vegas. Now, unless you've been living under a rock and not on Twitter or Reddit or Instagram or anything like that for the past, I don't know, 36 hours, 48 hours, you would be seeing Devontae Adams uh, seemingly trolling, maybe hinting at Aaron Rodgers coming to Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas locally asked Devontae Adams, uh, where is Aaron Rodgers moving, which neighborhood is he moving into? And Devontae Adams replied, mine. Um, Devontae Adams tweeted out, house hunting is fun. Uh, You have him at the Pro Bowl doing the discount double check you know celebration after his touchdown uh stuff like that now looking at the numbers as you can see on your screen uh if the raiders were to trade for aaron Rodgers, he would represent a 15 million uh cap hit for 2023 from a cash perspective his 2023 salary would be 1.1.165 million dollars in base salary and a 58.3 million dollar option bonus so basically 60 million dollars guaranteed um you know in cash so could mark davis pay that uh vinny said on the rare nation radio he absolutely can there's like that's not something that's you know not out of the picture but has to make sense for their cash budget now would mark davis make a you know an exception for this type of trade because he does want to win and Aaron Rodgers definitely presents an option for winning going to 2023 and uh you know a few years after that so yes, I think he would absolutely spend that little bit extra expense to acquire the Hall of Fame QB and Aaron Rodgers. Now, for me personally, it would absolutely have to be for the right price. Now, not cap hit because his cap contract, his contract is already set. Um, there's not really much you can do about it unless you restructure, which I think Aaron Rodgers is not only open to, but is probably going to happen to whatever team trades for him. So with that said what picks would are we going to give up we're obviously going to give up a first round pick mostly definitely a second round pick but beyond that you know what what else are we going to give up um and you know you don't really want to give up your first round pick when you have a lot of holes on defense this is a very good defensive draft you don't want to give up that second round pick because second round picks are also extremely valuable so then you'd be running with basically a bunch of third fourth fifth and sixth and seventh round picks which yes you can package to make maybe make a trade up to the second or maybe move some pieces around to maybe you know continue to move up in the third to maybe the fourth maybe the fifth to get the players that you need to build up that defense but uh you don't you can't really do too much in the draft without that first pick however i also think that we absolutely trade Derek Carr, and Derek Carr absolutely gets us at least a first um mate uh, i would say a first is pretty i would say pretty um you know probable especially if it's like the saints who has a late first round pick with 29th overall pick so if we can get a first and a second or a second and a third or a first and a third for Derek Carr from some team well we have to move Derek Carr first before we can even think about trading for Aaron Rodgers but I absolutely think that we can get picks and if we get picks from Derek Carr I think that it makes a ton of sense to then trade for Aaron Rodgers because you have that added draft capital to get Aaron Rodgers which I think it's very important to have high picks, especially when you're trying to really build up your defense and your O-line and all that stuff. Now, with signing Aaron Rodgers to only a $15 million cap hit, so that means he would only cost us $15 million going into this season. Um, obviously, we need $60 million to pay him like cash, but in terms of being able to sign other players, he does not restrict us in that sense. Derek Carr was a $40 million cap hit if we kept him. So it's a, what, $25 million difference between the two QBs. And quite frankly, Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback than Derek Carr, regardless of the season he had last season. Aaron Rodgers is absolutely a better quarterback still. 
uh, especially if he's going to be throwing to uh, Devontae Adams again. And that's another piece of the puzzle that you want to talk about is Devontae Adams wants to choose his QB. And he's been on the record saying, I it would be a dream to play with Aaron Rodgers again. So obviously that's probably his number one choice. And we have Josh Jacobs saying that there's three realistic quarterback options uh, that he's talked about with the, you know, the higher ups, you know, Josh McDaniels, Dave Ziegler, etc and people with other people within the organization he knows that there's three options on the table and i believe firmly believe that aaron Rodgers is one of them he also mentions that tom brady was more of a contingency contingency plan rather than actual like you know we want tom brady uh it was more of a if we can get him if he's the last resort we take tom brady but if not these other three qbs are who we want which is probably like aaron Rodgers, maybe a rookie and jacoby Brissett or something <laughs> something like that um but Back to Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers coming to Vegas would make Devontae happy. It would be a up, massive upgrade over Derek Carr, regardless of what you think um, Aaron Rodgers' career is going. He's definitely on the downtrend, but even his worst season is a you know average Derek Carr season. So I take that any day of the week. Uh, and reuniting with Devontae Adams, you know, having you know uh, Hunter Renfro, Josh Jacobs, hopefully back. And maybe Darren Waller might be mixed up in that trade, too. Do you want to give up Darren Waller? I don't know about that. But if it requires Darren Waller to get him plus maybe a second and, or two seconds and a third, or I don't know the pick calculator. There's no, really no pick calculator that can really give you a confirmed, um, you know, who wins or what's an even trade. But you really got to think about how much you actually want to give up to get him. Now, if it makes sense, if we have that, those extra picks from Derek Carr, if we don't have to give up someone like D Darren Wall or even Hunter Renfro, then it's an absolutely worthwhile trade. And I think we should, you know, just full send it and do it. That <laughs> that could bring us that extra step that we need to bring us to the playoffs. Um, and it still gives us plenty of room in free agency to get big defensive guys, big defensive free agencies, uh, big defensive picks and stuff like that. And... Patrick Graham worked at the Senior Bowl. He's seen a lot of the seniors uh, play and work with them. So, you know, we could hit on those later round uh, draft picks, which could be huge at building depth to this defense because on the surface of the defense, we have some pretty good to great to even elite players like Max Crosby, we, like Chandler Jones, Nate Hobbs if he's, you know, back in the nickel corner spot, Denzel Perryman if we bring him back, uh, Duran Harmon who should be back and stuff like that. We have pieces that we can build around and create a good enough defense to win not only regular season games, but also a playoff game for the first time in so fucking long. So if it makes sense, if the price is right, you send for Aaron Rodgers as soon as you can. But it has to make sense because I don't want to mortgage our future into a 40-year-old quarterback. Let me know down in the comments what you think the Raiders should do heading into 2023 talking about Aaron Rodgers what we should trade for him the cap hit all that other good stuff don't forget to like and subscribe while you're there it means a, it means a lot to me I appreciate all 370 of you that are subscribed to this channel unfiltered don't give a shit Raiders content I give it to you real I give you my thoughts my opinions news updates all that good stuff try to make fun content for y'all because Raider Nation is the best and I love all of you even if we disagree on players and all that other good stuff. But I hope you subscribe, stick around. It's going to be a very fun off season. It's already a lot of fun, and it hasn't even hit the, the new league years yet. So like and subscribe, to and put that notification bell on as well for all the news and all the videos I put out this off season. It's going to be awesome. Tomorrow I have my mo uh, mock draft Monday, so definitely come in for that. I hope you guys had an absolutely fantastic day. Hopefully you enjoyed the Pro Bowl games. I thought they were kind of fun. And I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Peace out, Raider Nation.